everybody has freedom of speech, everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but at the end of the day, if you're going to decide that somebody cannot be the Prime Minister because of the color of their skin, that means that a lot of persons who own businesses in Jamaica are not supposed to be entitled to own businesses in Jamaica because we're mostly black, right? So, with that being said, at the end of the day, if you go back to slavery, we the black people is who actually sold out ourselves, so sold ourselves to the background. So what are you going to say about that? Slavery was back then in the days and nowadays people are kind of open-minded to certain things and we kind of move away from that. So we're not going to discriminate a guy for what his ancestors did. So I mean, if he is for the people, by the people, because we're in a democratic society, I mean, vote for him and, you know, whatever. Give him a chance and see what he's about. Well, uh, that's Mr. Warmington. He's always going to step out the line with person. Where the, the only thing left for him to do is just get physical down by uh, Duke Street. But as regards to what he's saying, it's kind of a paradigm shift as what people say. But then, you know, like person is more gravitated to person with lighter skin tone. So it's a level between classes him and being disrespectful at the highest level to me. But what he's saying is basically his opinion. That's nothing that is someone going to come and gravitate to. And one, one of the things person must realize is that over the last five general elections, there is there is less person going to the poll. So as regards to who become prime minister, it don't really matter for Jamaica. So that's just what I basically have to say. Well, this is Jamaica. People get away with anything, especially politicians. But um, I think some things should be done. Even as a risk, something should be done. They can't just go around just um, calling out people for being whatever because of what the ancestors did. Um, I believe that comment is racist. Um, making decisions doesn't have anything to do with your skin color or um, your family history. So I would say that is um, racist. Well, I wouldn't think that he should be punished because everyone is entitled to their own opinions and everybody has freedom of speech. Well, as regards to punishing, punishment, what he going to do? A slap on the wrist? That's Mr. Warmington. He always does what he does. So, punishment is nothing prime. I think he just should leave representation and politics because it's not one, two, three, or four. It's a lot of time he has uh, basically behave his in bad manner. So, that's just basically my opinion. In my opinion, um, everyone has the right um, to state their opinion, freedom of speech. So, real and truly, it's up to um, the law body to pass that judgment. Um, but, I mean, you are free to say what you want.